Hello. So you're wondering, what is the new norm going to be in this world we live in? That's coming up next. Hello, welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles. Thank you for joining me for another video. Today we're going to be talking about what is the new norm going to be in this world and especially in the United States. I know as of today, um, a lot of the schools are starting school back up, but all the kids are doing all their work and everything online. Um, that does have it has its benefits and its disadvantages. Uh, we'll start with the disadvantages first. Uh, the disadvantages are in this day and age, most of the time, uh, you need two parents working in the family to support the family and to survive and pay the bills. So now one parent has to be at home with their children while they are um, doing their school schoolwork, especially if they're younger students. Now, if you have teenage students and are trustworthy, uh, they may be able to handle it themselves as far as making sure that they, you know, they do do their schoolwork and everything that they're supposed to be doing. And, you know, in the fact that they can feed themselves so they can make themselves breakfast, they could make themselves lunch. Um, the down, another downside is a lot of kids out there do depend on those meals. Um, it's a sad thing to say, but, you know, uh, a lot of the population of the kids that do go to public or private schools, mostly public schools, um, they depend on those meals. Sometimes that's the only meals they get that day. <clears throat> so that could be a, a detrimental to the whole situation. But unfortunately, you know, there are a lot of, at least down here, they're trying to make sure that um, they deliver the uh, school meals um, like in a lot of the counties, they're using the school buses and they go to the, you know, their bus stops and they will pass out their breakfast and their lunch and snack so that they have those meals and then they can do their homework and still not homework, but work from home on, um, their computers. Now I know in the state of Florida, they did issue, um, if students, didn't have some way to um, participate in the online programs. They were issued either like laptops or like iPads and things of that nature. And that was only for the kids that didn't have a computer or an iPad or something that they could do their schoolwork from and that they could log in and uh, um, participate and you know, possibly if they have a camera and stuff that, you know, they can see the classroom and seeing their, their other uh, students that were in their class. Um, another disadvantage to this is if it lasts too long, you know, you, you get into the situation of, you know, the, the social distancing. Um, it really wears on kids because they're used to being around their friends and playing and and you know even in school um just to have that that social network going on you know yes they can facetime and play online or whatever but it's not the same as going out on a playground especially for small kids and you know playing on the swing sets or you know playing kickball or whatever they may be doing you know um another thing that it could be um a downside to this is if this goes through and this works really well is this what they're going to want to do from this point forward and they may try to do away with going to school altogether now does anybody know nope 
You know, that's still, that'll, that's another million dollar question that'll come down the road. Um, I think it all depends on how well that they do on uh, taking care of this virus and everything else. Now on the plus side, you know, for parents and stuff, um, one plus side to it is that they have their kids, their kids are in their home, their kids are safe. Um, they control what their kids eat. They can be there and monitor and make sure that the kids are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, as far as their schoolwork and, and those types of things, they can also oversee and help if they do need help right there on the spot. Um, you know, I think as far as a parent in, in these days, you know, you would think of the safety aspect of it. You don't have to worry about lockdowns at schools, shootings at schools, you know. I mean, everything that you see on the news all the time, that has just been taken out of the equation. Um, but then again, you know, like I said, one parent does have to be there, especially if, you know, you have kids that are not teenagers. You know, hopefully teenagers could be self-sufficient. Uh, they should be able to be trustworthy that they're gonna do their work and get it done and they can feed themselves. You know, the unknown is as far as um, the government and what this world's gonna look like, you know, who knows? You know, who knows if the stock market's gonna bounce back? Who knows if we're gonna come out of a recession um, looking like, you know, a nice glazed donut that just was made, you know, like the president seems to think. Um, there's too many unknowns and if you listen to uh, the people that actually know what is going on, on even the president's team, uh, they're very um, drawn back on what he says uh, compared to what they see and what they say. Um, so it, it, it's like a two-edged sword here, and I don't really know if there's really going to be a winner or not. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. So to the fact of, you know, who knows what the new normalcy is going to be for our country is um, long term. I would say it could be a difficult time if they cannot get a control on the bug. Um, hopefully, you know, they will be able to get a, uh, a vaccine for it and uh, drugs that actually do treat um, the bug instead of using the drugs that uh, they have used for like malaria and stuff that they're all using now. <clears throat> now, you know, with that said, you know, if, th if that drug will treat these people, you know, that's a good thing. Maybe we can save some lives with that. But as far as the normalcy goes, what it, does the future hold? Will we, you know, will the stores uh, be stocked up? Will the stores be ready in case this does come back around come next winter? Um, that's still another question that's up in the air. Will people be able to socialize and go out to dinner and go to a sporting event? That's still up in the air. You don't know. Um, maybe you'll find that a lot of this stuff will be um, like online. Uh, it'd be like pay-per-view. You'll pay to see something and they'll have camera crews and stuff there and like concerts and baseball, basketball games, football games, racing, whatever. And they still participate. It's just there's nobody there in the stands. You know, it's a possibility. We just don't know. The new normalcy could be totally different than what we're used to. It could be a life-changing event. And I guess we have to sit back and kind of wait and see how this plays out. But I just wanted to bring a quick video to you today and uh, just talk about, you know, what could be the new norm for all of us, you know? Could be uh, life-changing events. Um, out of the norm of how we are used to doing things, how we shop, 
Um, I think you may see, you know, more people shopping online and delivery service being a more better way and safer way to get your groceries and that type of things. Uh, you might, if that's the case, you may see your grocery stores almost close and go to warehouse delivery services. We don't know, but it is a possibility. Um, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon as far as delivering just about anything. So if this goes over very well, who's to say that that can't change the way that we do our daily business as far as, you know, uh, going out to eat, going to the grocery store, going to, you know, a clothing store, whatever. It'll all be brought to you in a secured way. I don't know. I guess we're all going to find out. We'll see. So, I'll try to keep you updated on this and we'll see how this goes. But my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.